What's up everyone, welcome to another episode of Spitting Venom, aka The Venom Blog, and today I have a quick, brief episode for you. This is the image I wanna show you guys, check it out. Venom, Lethal Protector, the novel. It's written by James R. Tuck, who I'm not super familiar with, so I'm gonna have to do a little research on this guy, see what's going on. But this is coming out through Titan Books. It's the first of a new series of novels that uh, Titan Books is gonna publish for Marvel in association with them. And they're gonna, I guess, retell, they're gonna maybe tell some original stories, but retell some classic stories of different characters of the Marvel Universe. And so this is interesting to me that they picked Lethal Protector. And in it, we are full on gonna get an adaptation of the Lethal Protector comic book, full with Spider-Man in it, and it's gonna have the five symbiotes and everything. So for those of you who are aching that the movie isn't going to be a direct translation or it's not going to have Spider-Man or going to have other things, I mean, I don't know if you read a lot, but I would suggest picking up this book. Uh, it might fulfill all your fan needs uh, in regards to that. And I'm really interested to see this being retold as like a beginning, middle, and end story because apparently it's going to set up the fact that Eddie Brock has this falling out and this fall from grace in New York and maybe Anne Wayne getting saved and him and uh, Spider-Man making the deal and then Eddie going to San Francisco. And then obviously when he's in San Francisco, the uh, Life Foundation shows up and there's like attacking of you know, the homeless people and innocent people. And when Spider-Man sees the news, he just sees Venom at the heart of all this destruction. So he goes to San Francisco to investigate and to stop Venom once and for all. But when he gets there, he finds out that Venom is actually an innocent and he's on the side of the angels on this one and uh, he's trying to save the homeless people of San Francisco against the Life Foundation and their five new symbiotes. So it looks like they're going to do a new, you know, adaptation, a translation of it. So it won't be identical, I'm sure, but it sounds pretty close to at least the, from the synopsis standpoint. So I'm going to put a link down below to IGN's article on this, and uh, they have the image there. So I'm very excited. And in their article, there's also a place it will link you to, I think, Amazon, where you can pre-order the book. So uh, I'll have all that information down below. So make sure you check that out and let me know what you think of it. Are you excited to read a novel adaptation of Lethal Protector. I kind of am. So when this comes out, I will definitely read it for you guys and review it uh, for you as well. And I'll let you know if you should go pick it up yourself or at least give you my opinion. I would say no matter what, go pick it up because I'm sure it's only going to be like $7.99. So I would say it's worth every penny. Um, but uh, the fact that it's coming out with Tit from Titan Books is really cool because I've been following them for a while and I like a lot of the stuff they do. And I even aspire to write something for them one day. Uh, so, you know, I'm gonna definitely read more of their stuff, especially if they're doing Marvel novels, I'll read more of this so I can learn more about what they're looking for and what kind of stories they like telling. Uh, Cause that might help me out if I ever get to a point where I pitch something to them. But you guys, again, let me know what you think down below. Lethal Protector the novel, I'm very excited. Thanks so much for watching my show. As always, like, share, subscribe, all that fun stuff. See you in the future, peace.